Today we're going to walk you through how to take an x-ray here with the Voyant software and the Setical TXR generator. To first start, you hit the I button. This is going to turn the system on and it's going to go through a couple self-tests and when it comes up this x-ray console, that means that the system is ready. To log into the Voyant software, you just click on the login button. And it will take you to the first screen. You're going to want to make sure that the DR panel is connected. So we can click on the DR panel sensor here. And we're going to want to wake that up if it's not woken up. We can see here that it's connected, normal temperature, and it is plugged in. Now we see the x-ray console here. We can choose the anatomical programming. And this is going to allow you to choose different body parts um, to be able to take an x-ray. So first I'm going to add a patient by adding a patient information here. So I'm going to put patient ID. Patient name. Date of birth. The sex. And I can choose a performing physician and schedule date. I can always add notes as well here if I want to put anything about the particular study. I can then choose what anatomical regions I want and then AP, lateral, or PA. You can also customize this and add other views if you like through the administrative screen. You don't have to choose the position here. You can go ahead and click Start, and you're gonna see the option to be able to add it right here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do a C-spine, AP. And I come over here to my X-ray console and I can choose one of these four body types. The first one is for pediatrics. If you choose for pediatrics, you can choose small, medium, or large for pediatrics. If you choose a small person, that would be a small person. This would be a medium, and then this would be a large. So let's go ahead and charge to choose a medium-sized person. And you should see here on the screen here, it's going to show you a series of different um, locations or anatomical regions. I'm going to want to choose upper trunk, and I'm going to do the cervical AP. Now when I've chosen that, it's going to come up with my KV, mass, and MA. I can adjust this if needed, uh, depending on the, the patient that comes in, but this will give you a good start of where to go. Next step, you go ahead, <clears throat> click down on your trigger button, or you can use it on here if you don't have a trigger button. You can hold down the green button, which is the prep, and then expose. The trigger button has that within the two switches, so the first one is the prep, and then holding all the way down is the expose. The x-ray has been taken, and you're going to see it come up here on the screen. It's going to process that image, and that is your x-ray. Now to go back, let's say I want to do another view. I can then click over here, choose another area. So say now I want to do a T-spine, or let's do an L-spine AP, and then I go back by clicking on this, starting over from the beginning, I want to do the, let's do the lower trunk, and I'm going to do the lumbar AP. Now I can again adjust any of these settings here, hold down, or I can use the prep and expose. and the image is then displayed on the screen. Once I'm finished, I go ahead and click Done, and it wants to mark the studies as complete, and then I'm back, and it's going to upload those over to the pack so they can be viewed in other locations.